Okay, welcome back to Skyrim. We're heading back to Sarana's mum. I don't know actually, oh, it's here. It wasn't loading in. I was like, hmm, where are those stairs? But we're gonna finish up in the Soul Care and get um, Arvac on the way back. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Come on, give us the scroll, cough up. Yes, please follow me. All right. Keep watch for Genevieve. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. That's fine. What have we got over here? Yeah. Not much. We can do some stuff with these soul husks, I reckon. I'm not going to fuck around with them, though. Can we go in? Open the boneyard. The boneyard. Boneyard of the soul can. Boneyard of the soul can. Boneyard of the soul can. Gonna spawn in Satan because it looks like a battle zone. Slay Dernavir. Let's use Dragon's Rend. Where'd you come from? Oh god, I do quite a bit of damage to him, don't I? Ha ha ba ba di bo be. Come on, do 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 Go away. Fuck off. There we go. That's what I wanted from you. Oh, God. You shouldn't be taking off at that health. There we go. Oh, careful, Serana. It's weird that he wasn't like a soul. Oh. It's even weirder that we can't search him. <laughs> right. We did it. We killed Dernavir. Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. What makes you say that? Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... Go on. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. How long will that take? Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. No, I'd rather not, now, to be fair. let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. I am Dragonborn, though. I am the Dragonborn. Is this it here or is it up there? Oh, this is it. Oh my god, yoink, 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 yoink. Yes, please. What did you want? Um, I'm here for the scroll, you know I am. <laughs> That's it. That's the last... Oh. Come on, let's take it to Dexian. Okay, I think I'm ready. One minute, there's more stuff I didn't notice. I can't believe we found my mother alive. Oh, we need to speak to what's her face, I think. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. She's looking a bit rough, isn't she? You're staying here? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny to Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've got you. We'll return for you when we can. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must I wonder if you can actually come back and find her. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. All right. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Sure. I think she might be my only form of becoming a not vampire. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I don't know why there was a there was a brief little marker up here and I'm not sure why. Unless it was to do with talking to her. Bum, 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 ba -dim, bum, bum, Hmm. It's a very nice little place, isn't it? There's not much that I really want to explore in here, though. It's the, uh, the final place that I want to explore. Because, from what I can tell, there's quite a bit of loot. At least from past experience, there seems like there's a lot of loot. There's also fucking splashing dragons. Uh-oh. Speaking of dragons or wyverns. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. No, thank you. I thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. Ah, oh, that's a sucker that is. Why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. Okay, okay. Sweet talking. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Okay. I found you equally worthy, Dunavir. Your words do me great honor. Oh, we can have a little kiss. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I had a feeling it might have been. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. What is it? What can I do for you? What kind of favor? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I wonder how long he's been here. What's stopping you? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. How can I help? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Okay. Do me this simple honor. And I will fight at your side as your Graze Marzin. Your oh, I'd love a Graze Marzin. That's what I've always wanted is a Graze Marzin. <laughs> um, just call your name in Tamriel, that's it. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Okay. Sure. I'm glad we found this way. I wish you could come with us. How do I learn the first word? Oh. Brilliant. Summon Dernevere. We're gonna need that, I reckon. Do we have to actually... We do actually have to buy it. But that's fine. We are actually going to need him. <coughs> I think he appears as... Like a summoned dragon. Like a conjured one. Obviously it's a summoned dragon. It's in the name of the Shao. Um, but I mean like a conjured one. Um, but he doesn't affect, it's not like a conjuration spell. He just looks like a conjured creature. I think. I can't quite remember. Um, but... He's not going to be the only dragon we get, because obviously we get that one from the main story. I think. He says. <laughs> I think we do. I think we fucking do. I don't know why I've turned into a bit of a farmer. A little bit of a farmer. We were looking recently at Comic-Cons, because I've been like sort of scouring the net and the web. The, uh, the, the system of tubes. And, um, because I need books. I need like two books to finish a collection of them, 
Um, otherwise, I'm going to give in and just not bother collecting them anymore. Because it's just so fucking frustrating. Yoink. Um, but yeah, we found one. And it was like, ah, oh, it's 20 quid to get in. Okay, why is it that much? Oh, because Sylvester motherfucking McCoy is going to be there. Who, if you're uneducated and a peasant, that is the sixth doctor, I think. That is the seventh doctor. <laughs> Wait. That is the eighth. <laughs> no. It's seventh. The seventh doctor. One minute. McCoy, McGann, Eccleston. Yeah. Whatever, he was the Doctor, but more importantly, he was motherfucking Radagast the Brown from The Hobbit. My favourite goddamn character. Where is this bloke who, who, who wanted Arvac? Uh, Let's check the quest. Here we go, return Arvac's skull. Oh, it's back there? How far away is that? Fucking hell. Um, but yeah, motherfucking Radagast. <laughs> um, who I marked out because I really, really like when they portray characters like Gandalf and Radagast and I'm trying to think of a couple more. They did it in Harry Potter, for example, with like McGonagall and Snape. And like, you know that these people could like whoop ass in a battle. So like any little hint of a battle and I mark out and I think you see Radagast fight a, a ring wraith, like a pre ring wraith ring wraith. I'm like, I'm waffling on about nerdy shit, all right? So just bear with me. But you see him fight one in the third Hobbit and like, it's really brief, but you're like, wow. <laughs> and they do it with Saruman, AKA Christopher fucking Lee. And he does like a little battle and it's awesome. And McGonagall, when she fights Snape, it's just a small little thing. And you're like, oh, <laughs> because it's just epic, like, finally seeing those characters do something. Um, but yeah, I like Radagast, basically. Um, and he's, he's going to be at the Comic-Con, as well as the head from Red Dwarf, the female head. I can't remember her name. The bloke who played Mother Fucking Gimli. I cannot be the jump, you'll have to toss me. Mother fucking Gimli is going to be there. And a guy that I recognised, but I'm not quite sure where I recognised him from. I think he's been on a lot of TV. Um, but yeah. And I'm not going, <laughs> because I'm not paying 20 quid to get in there and then like 30 quid for a meet and greet with Radagast. Because that would be the only person I'm going for, and everyone would be going to speak to him about Doctor Who. <laughs> Apart from me, and I'd be like, oh, hello, I really like Radagast. <laughs> I didn't see any of your episodes when you played the Doctor, but I really like Radagast in your sleigh that's pulled by rabbits. Oi. Arvac, you saved him. I did. It He's was a right fat trek, mate. He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him to you. Good. He'll help you get around this wretched place. Wait. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Oh, we can use Arvac Bye, upstairs. Hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse. I don't know, he said somewhere sunnier, so maybe we can use him upstairs. <coughs> Pardon me. <gasps> oh, shit. Let's have a look. I know that we can definitely use him in here. And I think that's the purpose of him. But I'm positive you can use him up in Tamriel. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's not follow that. Let's follow this. We'll just test it out when we get back upstairs, basically. Oh, God. Wandering all over the place, because this is my first time riding a horsey poops. Oh, and I've climbed off of him. Do you want to... Oi. I was trying to jump, and then I forgot how you jumped. And I forgot how you jumped... <coughs> oh, how you jumped in Bethesda games. <coughs> I almost swallowed my own tongue. That's how excited I am to ride Arvac. Oh my god, it seems like he's got unlimited stamina. Oh, Arvac. I love that it's like a skeleton of a horse. Rather than just, just like a spectral horse. It's like a genuine attempt at something cool. Well done, Bethesda. 
like I said, I can't remember if you actually get to use him up top. But, oh, that laugh was a little bit horse-like. Use him. I don't know what that is. I don't know how we get out of here as well. I think I've gone the wrong way. I think I went too far this way. This looks like the edge. Yeah, we ain't going past there. Maybe we didn't go too far this way. We've not gone this way enough. Oh, look, there's the pathway. There's the pathway. Here we go. Why, oh my god, I'm getting messages again. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Oh, fuck me. I've gotta go play some... What am I doing after this? I don't know. I'm gonna go play something. I've got some Fable to do. Because where I left off on Fable, I'd... it should be uploaded by now. But where I left off on Fable, I need to go get a load of Renown. So, that's something that I've gotta go do. As well as earn some more dosh. Buy some more hooses. And I've also got to... I'm making some show intros for WWE. That's going to be fun and tiresome. And also editing WWE stuff. I do actually quite like making show intros. They're pretty cool. I like editing anything to music. I fucking love adding music to shit. I said to my mate that whenever I go out somewhere and I'm listening to music... Usually if I've got like an idea for a show based on like a video game or something that involves like a fight scene If I'm just bored, I'll, I'll like choreograph the entire fight scene to a song <laughs> And I don't know if that's weird I think it's quite creative, but that's just, you know, so that I don't tell myself that I'm going fucking insane Let's get out of here Let's get out of here. I've got, I've got this to grind because I've now got to do some vampire lord shit We might have to do Uh... We might have to do something else other than Dawn Guard and maybe finish Dawn Guard another time. I don't know. I'll see how long it takes me, basically. Because with the companions, I was able to do some of the werewolf stuff in missions. Like when we went to rescue Skior. Right, how do we get out of here? Bring both Elder Scrolls to Dexian. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. They might offer me a cure, but I doubt it. I don't think we're going to be able to fast travel from this location either. I think we've got to go back out. I hope we can. Please. Oh. Fine. I don't know how we get out of here. Is this it? Here we go. Valkar Balcony. This will definitely get us out of here. We're probably going to be able to jump off into the water. Into the water. Look at that. That's what we can become. Oh, fuck. Shit. I forgot about the whole nighttime, daytime thing. You have to keep an eye on that. <laughs> right, let's go over and see what they've got to say. And hopefully, they don't kick off. I think they're willing to still let me help, despite being a vampire. I'm sure that Isran says, like, okay, you can help us, but as long as you get this sorted eventually. In which case, I'll be able to just continue doing this DLC. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat creatures. There might be a perk, actually. I can't look at it now, can I? I've got to become one. I'll find a bandit cave to do it inside. <laughs> oh, dear. That's going to be a mess. Right, let's give these fucking scrolls to Dexion. He can tell us that we've got to go to, like, Frost Crypt Cavern or whatever it's called. Oh, I was expecting there to be, like, some sort of detector that's like, Ooh, there's a vampire! <laughs> More than one! And, like, the grates just shoot up. He's going to be able to tell because of my eyes. He's definitely going to be able to tell. I picked the wrong place to be doing that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Isran! Oh, Isran, where are you? Oh, it's Dexian we're looking for. Dexian. I trust your journey was successful. Yeah, I've brought you the uh, the Elder Scrolls. I'm sorry, my friend. <coughs> I'll no longer be of use in this matter. Why? What has happened? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects. But I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. 
Oh my god, that covering on your eyes, are you... Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Can anything be done to help you? No. It will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Then we're finished. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? Uh, what do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Just tell me. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the <coughs> forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Okay. Explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Carefully gather the bark. How? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate. Someone's pushing me. Oh, his one's over there. I'm going to keep. Do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Okay. Great. Good Brilliant. Luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. So do I. So we've got to get a knife. And, uh... Oh, God. Right. I want to speak to Isran and see what he says. Who oh, fuck. How dare you set foot in here after being infected by those foul beasts. I ought to cut you to pieces right where you stand. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. Go to Morthal and speak to Falion. He can help you. Otherwise, you're dead to me. Shit. Okay, so at least there's a quest there. So, oh, we've got we got paid some gold because I took that coin purse. So, right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off and grind basically. <coughs> oh fucking hell, man! I get a drink. Apparently, I'm gonna make some tea. It's a little bit cold. Um, I'm also gonna wander around here because we've gained some people that can follow us, which will be quite nice. And they've like outkitted some of this area, I think. Yeah, like, all of this is outfitted, which is really nice. We've got some trolls. Um, that's awesome. So, yeah. I'm going to go off and grind, basically, becoming a Master Vampire Lord. And, hopefully, by the next episode, I'll have it done. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, if you haven't already. And tick that notification bell, if you want to be notified every time I upload. I've been Deck of Cards, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.